You know what pop culture's like to the English. It comes off the street. Camera's rolling and... Gang of kids form a band and are utterly in the moment. You don't, you don't expect to have a film made about yourselves and uh, here we are in the Blitz Club, we've got a plaque outside commemorating the 30 odd years of uh, a performance that we did in 1979. We have a film. Um, it's, it's, it's a good time, I mean, it's, it's, and I think the film's really interesting, set against a, back, a fantastic backdrop of the 80s and the various changes that were occurring then. And um, you know, and a band falling apart. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. It's not falling just together, it's but. not just some PR puff about how great we were in the chart positions. I mean, it's really about we friendship, friendship, individuals. And I think George, you know, really, she made a film that was, mm. I think, goes beyond what most rockumentaries are about. You know, I think it's it's much more a look at or, or, ordinary blokes who are on this, you know, big stage all of a sudden and how they deal with that and, and because of that I think it's a film that people can relate to. Yeah, um, ordinary people, you know, in an extraordinary situation and, yeah. uh, you know, looking like superheroes stopping the traffic in New York, you know, that's, that's a year after, you know, we first played in this very club so, you know, suddenly we've taken New York so it's a, it's a fairly meteoric rise. It was, it was certainly a tough viewing for us. We first watched it in uh, Austin, Texas and the South by Southwest Festival. And it just, you know, it, it, was, it was hard to watch. You know, people that we've loved and lost are no longer with us. The breakup, the slow disintegration of the band. And, you know, how do you get to that bit? It's, it's kind of weird. So it was, it was certainly, I think, for me, tough, yeah. You're the first band to incorporate fashion, music, and video. How did this come about? Oh, the HMS Belfast yeah. was an incredible piece of footage to find. That only got found last year, and that was when we played on that battleship in 1980 before we were signed. And it's quite a historic gig in our, you know, in our story. People, you know, turned up looking f amazing, and I think and someone turned up in a wedding, and bloke turned up in a wedding dress with light bulbs and plugged himself in and flashed all night. You know, I mean, it was it was it took London a bit by storm, and then we found the footage just yeah. last year, Super 8. Uh, and in colour. And in colour. It was the first time I'd seen it in colour. Everybody oh. wanted to be at that gig, uh, including every major record company in London, mm. the national press. I mean, that, that and 20th Century Box were really the turning point for the band and which enabled us to get signed to uh, Christmas Records. It's a voyage of discovery for us, uh, you know, f finding all that footage, you know, good and bad. So it's, uh, yeah, it's been therapy to some degree. Yeah. Yeah. This is Tony, John, Dave, I'm Martin, I'm Gary, and we're Spandau Ballad. Our next big thing is is the uh, the Albert Hall where the film has its premiere on September the 30th and we do a short Q&A afterwards with Lauren Laverne then we get up on stage and we're going to play and uh, that goes simulcast to uh, over 200 screens around the UK and Ireland and you can find out what screens are showing it by going to spandauballetthemovie.com and there's a whole list and then you can... you. so so mm -hmm. on that night we'll be playing to the biggest audience uh, that we've played to since Live Aid Will you welcome on stage Spandau Ballet? You call yourself a pop band? Pop art. I love the beginning of the film, uh, where you see the kids on the street and the parties in people's houses. That was what it was like. It was a much more innocent time than it is today. You didn't have social media and the internet. It, you made your own entertainment and you made your own fashion and music. And it was a, it was a very interesting decade. Well, you just called me Span Our Ballet's Gary Kemp, and we haven't made a record since 1990. There, there is no way. We don't want to lose each other. I'd like to find that innocence again. I said to Gary, I want a better end. Do you have this if you're related? No. no. Would you be related to, related to each other? I wouldn't be related to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not related to him. Long years know. of living with and each other. Well, these guys talk funny, huh? Yeah. <laughs>